The film begins in 1965, when we see a lady standing outside a house recalling a portion of her old memories, wherein she is in that house and is extremely blissful. Then at that point, she gets her bag and leaves from there. Next, we see a girl glancing through the keyhole, where she sees her father killing her mother with an axe. He then out of nowhere comes before the keyhole, and the scene gets cut here. Now the film pushes ahead to 98.5, where we see a guy named Louie. He sees that his sister Manila has visited him. She began crying, and let him know that she want him to return home. Then the guard tells him that there is a call for him. Louis requests Manila to wait there and goes to the call. His father lets him know that he really wants to get back home, as Manila is dead. Louis is very astounded to hear this and looks back, and sees that Manila is leaving. He pursues her and sees that she has vanished. Then we see Louis' mom, Rebecca, who is profoundly disheartened. Louis's father, Arturo, tells her that a parent only wants what's best for his child. Now we see that Louis is back home, where Rebecca is exceptionally glad to see him. He asks her what happened to Manila, but she doesn't tell him anything. Then he goes to his father, who doesn't respond a lot to seeing him. He asks him about Manila, and here too he finds no answers. Now the scene moves to Manila's funeral, where we see Louis smoking outside when a lady comes to him, and tells him that he should not have returned. She tells her name as Sal, and leaves holding a piece of paper to him. Now while eating, Louis again asks what happened to Manila. Arturo says his sister was weak. She fell truly sick and passed on. After this, he says that he has got his ticket for tomorrow. Then they hear the sound of somebody running from above, to which Arturo yells noisily. Then we see a scene in the past, in which Louis is packing to go to boarding school, and Manila is furious about this. Louis is crying in memory of Manila lying in her bed, when abruptly he gets a jolt, and afterward, somebody tosses him down from the bed. Louis is very shocked to see this, after which he rests on his bed. All of a sudden he hears somebody crying, and when he turns, he sees that somebody is lying on Manila's bed under a bed sheet, who is choking. But when he lifts the sheet, nobody is there. Suddenly the door of his room opens, and he sees that a shadow comes into his room, which scares him. All at once, he sees Manila crawling towards him, and says that she hopes he gets into an accident, and Lucina catches fire. Unexpectedly, she gets his hair and starts dragging him away. She brings him in front of her room. Then Rebecca hears Manila's voice, which awakens her. When she comes out of the room, she sees Manila, whom she begins following. Now here she comprehends that this is Manila's soul, and here we see Manila looming over her. The next moment, Manila begins pursuing her with a stick in her grasp, fearing that Rebecca falls and comes before the same room. She strolls in, where Louis is already there. He says that he doesn't accept that Manila passed on account of some disease, and requests her to tell the truth. She says that her sister was faint-hearted, and she committed suicide. In any case, Louis doesn't accept her, and says that Manila can never do this. Then Louis goes to his dad, and says that he needs to remain here for a couple of more days, to which Arturo doesn't say anything. After this, we see a couple comes to their home in which the young lady is pregnant. Actually, Louis' mom is a doctor. And here we see him assisting the young lady, abruptly. Manila comes instead of that young lady, seeing whom Louis is extremely terrified. She begins choking him, and says that he had left her, and because of him she died, for which she will never forgive him. All of a sudden, Rebecca comes there, and sees that Louis is extremely frightened. Then, he is sitting outside smoking, when Arturo comes to him. He says that he has to always be on top. There is no place for foolish and weak people in this world. He inquires whether he has a girlfriend, and then says that he wants him to pick a legitimate spouse. Furthermore, he then gave him a few hints for how to pick an ideal young lady, just hope he doesn't get stuck with a bunch of daughters. He says that he really wants somebody who can proceed with his bloodline, and pass his name. Then that evening, Louis and his father are playing chess, and Rebecca is staring at the TV, when the lights unexpectedly go out. Here we see that there are many dead bodies lying in the house, and a few bodies are hanging. However, when the light returns, all those bodies vanish. Next, Louis is resting in his room when Manila's bed tumbles down, because of which he awakens. He then hears some sound, and when he lifts his cover, he sees an evil spirit is eating his leg, seeing that he pulls his leg back. However, his leg is totally fine and there is nobody there. 
Then he sees a crate there, and when he opens the crate, Manuel emerges from it and hauls him inside, and that case gets shut. He makes a decent attempt to open the case, and after some time he sees a couple of hands begin holding him, because of which he gets exceptionally frightened. The case then opens on its own, and he sees a girl there, who then leaves. Following her, Louis sees the secret door, and we see a shadow of a hand moving towards him. However, Arturo strolls in and advises him to go to sleep. Then we see Louis with Sal, who tells him that she served the last family who resided in their home. She tells that they were a youthful couple, who had three girls. Their names were Marita and Jane. In any case, they died before a year passed. On one occasion, Jane took an axe and killed his whole family. Louis asks her why she told him not to go inside the house. She tells the house is swarmed with evil. It poisons the mind, drowns you in darkness, and there is an evil spirit residing in that house. Louis says that he just wants to know what happened to his sister. Sal then do some rituals and let him know. She saw Manila, and there was another person with her, whom she was unable to see clearly. She says that she needs something that belongs to Manila. Now in the house, Louis observes a drawing made by Manila, and afterward the door of his closet begins shaking. As he opens the door, some garments fall on him and Manila standing behind him, who pushes him inside. Inside he sees Manila, which scared him, and he drops out of the closet. However, he sees that he is in the surgery room, where Manila is perched on the surgical table and is crying. Gradually, marks of injury start forming on her arms, and she suddenly starts screaming by holding Louis, and now the signs of injury likewise begin framing in Louis' arms. Now he sees that somebody is beating Manila, and she is screaming in pain and requesting help. Louis goes to her and unexpectedly, we see that now Louis is wearing Manila's dress, and he has a stick in his grasp, and afterward, he begins beating her, then he awakens from sleep and starts having weird vision. He sees that the imprints are still on his arms, and his bedsheet is stained with blood. He begins washing his bedsheet, where Rebecca comes and starts washing it. She requests that he go to the washroom and clean up. Now Rebecca is trying to eliminate the stains when Arturo comes from behind her, and he throws the bedsheet. Here Arturo begins faulting Rebecca for everything, and says that he married her thinking that she will give him sons, worthy of his name. Rebecca says that there is nothing wrong with Louis. Maybe he is the one who needs to change, not Louis? Hearing this, Arturo becomes exceptionally airy, and says that he imagined that Louis was strong. However he isn't, and he will teach him a lesson. Rebecca attempts to stop him and says that she has already lost Manila, and now she would rather not lose Louis. Rebecca likewise becomes furious, and says that if he harms Louis, she will kill him, to which Arturo slaps her. Now here Arturo begins acting peculiarly and says that whatever happened that evening, we both did it together. Salve, on the other hand ritualizes again, and now she is watching everything that occurred in that house. Jamie is moving towards the youngster's room after killing his wife. Seeing that Salve begins crying, she advises Louis to save themselves right now. This won't end with Manila. Now, Louis gets back home, where Arturo comes from behind, and hauls him to the workshop. He attaches him to a seat and lets him know that he is doing this for his benefit. He applies current to him, and afterward begins hitting him with a stick. After this, he removes his belt and begins hitting him with it, and unfortunately Louis continues shouting in torment, requesting that he stop. After this, he begins punching Louis' face, then Rebecca comes there, and when Arturo attempts to stop her, she shows him the knife. She says to give her child back, or she will kill him. Now she begins taking Louis from there, and we see Arturo standing there crying, and saying what he has done. Next, Louis is lying in his room when he begins hearing a few unusual sounds, and he sees the same girl standing before him, who is replicating him. After this, the girl goes to the wardrobe, where Louis tracks down a secret entryway. He begins following her, when he begins hearing somebody snarling, and here he sees the same demon, who gradually begins moving towards him. However, the following second he vanishes. Now Louis arrives at a room where he begins hearing a few voices, and he sees that the girl is sitting on the bed. Louis asks her, who is she? To which she says, not a king nor a priest, but wears different kinds of clothes. She then gives him a crate. However, Rebecca comes there, and Louis sees that the place has changed totally. Louis believed that the girl was Manila's daughter, and Rebecca had kept her stowed away from him. Then Louis gets some photographs there, 
And here comes the twist. We see two girls, who are playing and doing cosmetics. Then Arturo comes there in anger and starts scolding them. As a matter of fact, Louis was Louisa? Rebecca tells that she was stronger and smarter in both the sisters. She trimmed her hair and began wearing garments like young men. Gradually, she caused herself to accept that she was a man. After that, Arturo began treating her contrastingly, and he at last got what he needed. He additionally used to get Louisa to beat Manola. Hearing this, Louis begins crying, and says that it was generally his fault. He views at himself in the mirror, where he considers himself to be a young lady behind him. He becomes exceptionally irate and begins going to kill his father. However, Rebecca stops him. She says that she will let the demon that is killing his dad enter him. She says that what Arturo did was extremely wrong. However, she trusts that he's still there. There's still some of him left in there. Now they set off to save Arturo. They go to his room, where Rebecca subtly infuses him with sedation. However, at that point, he awakens and says that they will not get Arturo back. He begins assaulting her. But some way or another, the two of them make him unconscious. Next, Salve comes to their home. And here we come to realize that there used to be an orphanage here. They used to punish kids with endless cruelty. Not just this. During the time of World War, the Japanese soldiers took advantage of the young ladies residing there. Because of which they gave their lives. And this spot was loaded up with darkness. Now we see that they attach Arturo to a seat, and put every one of the mirrors of the house before him, as Salve will utilize these mirrors to extricate the devil out of him. Salve begins exorcism and asks the devil what his identity is. Satan here begins uncovering Salve's dark memories, like how her father used her body for the first time. Now Salve begins perusing prayers, because of which Satan begins getting hurt, and he uncovers himself as Azrael, the descendant of Azazel. After this, he begins crying in the voice of the youngsters whose house Salve used to work, and starts telling how he enjoyed their death. Hearing this, Salve becomes furious and begins assaulting him. Both Salve and Rebecca are perusing prayers, when the house begins to shake and the lights flash. After some time, he screams uproariously and everything becomes ordinary. Salve feels that Arturo is liberated from the evil spirit's grasp. Arturo regains consciousness and looks ordinary, so they loosen him. However, Salve understands that he is as yet a Satan, and out of nowhere he assaults Salve, gets her throat, and lifts her in the air. After this, he tosses her towards the wall and many blades enter her body, because of which she passes on. Now he moves towards Louis and is going to kill him. However, Rebecca stabs him from behind, because of which he passes on. Next, every one of the spirits caught in the house gets free and begins wandering there. Louis and Rebecca go inside that mysterious entryway. Now we see Louis in the surgery room, where he sees a creature. When Rebecca comes to him, he says that she killed Manila. Here we discover that Rebecca really killed Manila with an infusion, so she doesn't need to suffer any longer. Now the possessed Louis says that the curse of this house lies not because of Arturo's evil deeds, but because she allowed it. Hearing this, Rebecca begins running from there, and Louis begins pursuing her. At long last, Rebecca finds a way out. However, she considers something and shuts the door. She is sorry to God and requests the solidarity to save herself and Louis. Now she encounters the evil spirit and lets him know that he is weak to the point that he needs people to finish his work. Rebecca advises Louisa to be strong, after which Louisa begins battling Satan inside her. Lastly, he emerges from her body. After this, Rebecca sets the house ablaze and takes Louisa out of there. In the next scene, we see Louisa as a girl, and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.